Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi, everybody. I'm just getting started with Section 8. I know I'm behind, um, but Houston really kicked me around <laughs> and, and it got me all turned around. But I'm getting back on track now. So I have um, from Section 8, we're going to work on page 8 for From the Heart. And then we have another one we'll do from section eight, another um, big block, I call them. It's not that they're big in size, it just has more pieces than maybe a square and a square. So we're gonna do from the heart, and then we're gonna do the star block, which is on page 11. And then there's some filler blocks, like square and a squares, and you can just follow along with our um, section eight schedule and then just go to the appropriate pages. You can see I have my pages, my pieces cut. Um, but this is gonna be my dark fabric and this is my light. It's really hard to see. This has a light pink on it. So I'm hoping my From the Heart will turn out really cute with these two. And then on page 11, we have Hope from Hartford. Let's get to page 11. There we go. Um, and that's going to be our star block. And it's going to need um, one, two, three, four different colors. So check out page 11. And it looks like a lot of half square triangles that you're going to make um, to put it together. And it looks rather daunting, but we can do it. We can do this. So let's get started with our From the Heart first, and then we'll go into our Star Block, section eight. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our larger triangle, I mean, I'm sorry, squares that we cut and we're going to draw our lines, or however you want to make your half square triangles. I like to make, I don't, they say in her direction, she says cut them in half, then sew the triangles together. I tend to like it more doing it this way, and then I can sew a scant quarter inch on either side, then cut it down the middle. Um, I have more success with it that way. So that's how I'm going to do it this time. And I'm doing the same thing with my um, smaller triangle. Um, squares. I'm sorry. It's hard to talk today. Um, notice that on this one, I drew the lines on the light side. On this one, on the darker side, um, it shows up better, obviously, on the light side. So just something to remember when you're going to do your um, sewing. So I draw a line from corner uh, point to point. Then I go a quarter of an inch out, draw my lines to sew on, and I will come in on that line just ever so slightly instead of drawing, going right on that. Okay, so this one is called From the Heart, and we've done our half square triangles, sewn them together to make the bottom of the heart. Now we're doing the center of the heart, and it's going to have, um, so I sewed these together as half square triangles, then cut them in half after they were half square triangles. Um, then place them together so it almost is like an hourglass. Um, and it does make a difference how you turn them when you sew them together. Um, you're going to want these looking like a butterfly touching each other on either end. And in the middle, the darks go above each other like so. And then once we get it sewn together, it'll go like that. And then that in the middle. And then we'll use our rectangles and these little tiny squares to make our very top. So I'm going to go put these together like this, kissing like that. I'll sew along here. I'll put this one together such, sew along here, and put this one together like such, and sew along here. Okay. Remember when putting these together, if you nestle one seam going to one side and the other seam going to the other side, you can feel it and you end up with a really nice point 
right there in the center when you go over that seam. These are kind of tiny pieces, so just nestle that together and you'll end up with your points being right in the middle. So we put all our pieces together and we're done. We have our half square triangle big ones in the bottom. We have our little hourglass shapes in the middle. Remember when you're sewing them together, pin them so that you end up with this guy going up and down hourglass and these two on the sides going out. Then at the top, we had a rectangle in our dark fabrics and little tiny squares that we had cut in our light fabric. And you just put one on each corner, sew it, trim it, and you end up with your top pieces for your um, from the heart. And then I took my little two pieces that I had left over and made another hourglass because I think I can use this for one of my um, filler blocks. It's um, the hourglass bordered, so I can border this and I have a filler block. So now on to the next um, Hope for Hartford. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWannaQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>